Hey Floss Who, I'm Amy, I love toads. We're gonna try to make a video today. It is February the 28th, because I looked, 2021. It's a Sunday. Uh, just need to mention some things really quick. So I am dizzy, what's new? But if I waited until I wasn't dizzy, then this video would not get done until next February. Um, I'm a little foggy still, so I'm gonna have trouble remembering things, so just bear with me. It is raining outside. Uh, it's been raining for about 40 days. Mother Nature is drunk. She thinks this is Seattle. I'm on the East Coast. She thinks Texas is Canada now. I don't know what's going on. It's been crazy. I just want the sun back so bad. But um, I have lots to show you. I didn't think I did because I feel like I didn't stitch that much, but I do have a lot. I got two little doggies over there <laughs> rustling around in covers. Oh, and my boys are both home. So they might be in and out getting lunch and stuff, but I know how to edit so I can edit out craziness. Uh, first of all, I want to thank people for buying me a coffee. So um, there was Marie, thank you, and Debbie, thank you. That is so sweet. I didn't even put the link in the description box last time, so you must have gone back a couple videos. Thank you very much. That was so, so, so sweet. Uh, Vicki, Stitch and Button, you know what you did. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, I have other thank yous. I have some gifts that I received, but I will show those at the end. Um, I have, whoops, I have a couple finishes and let's get started. So should we start? Let's start with finishes first. Okay. So everybody was posting their little Valentine's Day stitches and I wanted to stitch a little Valentine's Day thing. I don't like red very much. So I don't do much for Valentine's Day, um, but I had had this Scarlet House. So this is a Scarlet House pattern. I'd had this, what do you call it? See, my brain doesn't work. Um, not favorited, screenshot. So I screenshot, this is a freebie, and I had screenshot this on my iPad and have had it on my iPad for a couple years. I believe you can find this in her Facebook group, the Scarlet House Facebook group. It doesn't look like this. I, I'll put a picture of what it looks like up here. And I'll be put, inserting pictures up here or here of before pictures and things like that. Um, so I took out, there was a border here and a border here and I changed the colors because I love brown. Brown is one of my favorite colors. Yes, I know. <laughs> but so I I like neutrals and isn't it cute? So my girlfriend, Becky, hi Becky. She gave me a Lady Dot Creates um, pack of trims and backings and stuff. So this is like velveteen and it matched perfect. And I put some lace on it. So, and I have it up. There's a picture of my husband and I and a little heart frame up there on our wedding day. And I have it sitting up there. And I like it because I can keep it up all year round too. So that's one. I um, started and finished this, I think Valentine's Day weekend. And I believe this is stitched on this, the bottom cut of what I'm stitching um, Huckleberry Farm on. So this is a 36 count. Hold on, let me think. It's Color and Cotton Driftwood. So this is Driftwood by Color and Cotton. That fabric is. Oh, and I was gonna, um, did I bring it? Yes, I did. Hold on, guys. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Okay, I brought the colors to show you. So that, the dark, and I'm shaking too, of course. What's new? Okay, the dark brown is uh, 
maple syrup, right? Yeah. Uh, the light brown. I can't read that backwards. Hold on. Cinder mill brown, it looks like. I don't have my glasses on. I'll let y'all read it. And then the little ties. I think it's in Garden Gate. I can't read that backwards and it's blurry. But Garden Gate is my favorite. Yep, Garden Gate. So Garden Gate's my favorite. So these are the colors that I used for these little hearts. So, yeah. Okay. Next, I had a little start and finish, which I have to insert a video. And I will insert the video right here. Hi guys, okay, so really quick story. I have a group of girlfriends from high school. There's five of us. Um, we all turned 50 last year. You probably remember us getting together if you've been watching my floss tubes um, to celebrate. It was in January and I had posted pictures. Well, one of my girl, one of us, one of them, <laughs> um, last week, about a week ago, she messaged us and she was in the hospital and she had a little heart attack. She was only 50. Um, so she had a little heart attack and she also, her left ventricle was not working. And it is known as the broken heart syndrome. So it's from hormones, stress, so she is on bed rest for a week. She has to change her diet, get rid of some stress, do some more exercise, things like that. So um, I wanted to stitch her something and Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design comes out with a Valentine's Day anniversary piece every year in February. And it's usually like reds, pinks, purples, but I wanted my girlfriend, Jennifer, to be able to put it out all year long so I changed the colors so I'm getting ready to put it in the mail and this is why I'm filming this little tiny clip to stick in my floss tube which I'll do in a week or two so you can see it so I um, before I put it in the mail so this is it uh, love you and I changed the colors of course you know so this is oh I should have brought the colors let me see Hold please and I will go get the colors and show you what the colors were. Okay, I used Classic Colorworks Really Tealy and Classic Colorworks Mel Melody's Teal? Melody's Teal? So these are the two colors I used <clears throat> and I just stitched it on a white 36 count linen um, and I did use two over two usually I am a one over two on 36 count sorry I'm shaking today um, but I wanted it to really pop for her so and it's so cute and it has little hearts there because she had a little heart attack. <laughs> so I put some lady dot trim on it. I can't remember what that lady dot trim was called. And then I put some X's on the back for kisses in a teal color also. So I am going to pop this in the mail to her today. Thank you, Kathy. I will link this below, this pattern below. Um, her, it's on her blog, and I think it's handsondesign.biz, but I will link um, it below. Okay, on to the floss tube. Bye. Okay, so <laughs> you saw my finish. Um, yeah, my one of my best friends had a little heart attack and I stitched her that it it's a hands-on design. It's a freebie. I will link it below. 
It's also completely different colors. Um, I can't remember in the video if I put what it's supposed to look like or not what it's supposed to look like, but how she did it. It's I think it's in pinks or has a pink background. I did it completely different because I wanted my girlfriend Jennifer to be able to keep it out all year long. I didn't want it to be really a Valentine's Day. I just want her to know that I love her and I was thinking about her. So that was a start and finish also. Okay, um, I have two piles and I will explain the second pile when I get to it, but we're gonna start with the first pile and I'm gonna start with my full coverage and I need to bend over to get it. So here is, I worked on upside down. <laughs> I worked on, this is mini top, top frog by Jody Bergsma. And I believe I am like right, I'm right by his eyeball, I think right here. And I'll put in a picture here in a minute of where you saw it. And so I've been keeping a track, keeping track of um, when I've been working on it. I've, I've only been wor worked on it, let's see, four, five, six, seven, seven days this month, that's it. See, I, I, didn't, I feel like I didn't stitch very much, um, but let's see, here it is. So I'll try to put in a before, so I'll get it kind of to the side so y'all can see. I'll put the before over there. Um, I don't think I had his eyeball completely stitched, so I think I did this row and this row and, you know, started on that row and that row. It's looking real good. And I think I'm gonna work on it some more either today or tomorrow. And then it will go away and my spider one will come out. Um, eight of Pentacles will come out. So yep. All their little eyeballs are in now. <laughs> so cool. Yep, pretty amazing. And that's a mini. So the detail in a mini is pretty good. This is 25 count, one over one full cross. So, and this is my case creation uh, lap stand that I use uh, so I don't have to hold this. And I, with this, I two hand stitch. Um, and it's a game changer. It's wonderful. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with the uh, uh, other ones. Okay, um, the visitor. Can't I can't do this? Let's see. The blackberry rabbit. Y'all can read. I don't even know why I read it to y'all. <laughs> this was from market last year. And I've already got my, not market, Needlework Expo pick and pre-ordered. I have one thing that I've already pre-ordered. So, um, let me go get, hold, I'm going to go get my board. Hold on. Okay. And I will put pictures in. So, I don't think, I, I worked on this. Uh, leaf up here and I changed one of the the colors of the green it was more yellow and I don't care for yellow leaves so I changed it to a green I'll show you the green in just a second and I may have worked more on the bee scat this is bramble 36 count uh, one over two so let me show you what it was and what I changed it to. All the rest are the called for colors. So the leaf was called to be that was yeah, the called for was that yellow right there. 
and I changed it to that green right there. And I'll tell you what the colors are. So I just wanted to put it on the board for a second so you could get a better look. Okay, so the yellow is Summer Meadow by Gentle Arts. And the green I changed it to is a Victorian motto called yellow green and it has no DMC conversion. Sorry. So yeah, I just didn't like my leaf to be that yellow. Um, I think you can see it in the picture too. I don't know if it shows it, if it, how yellow it is. So there's a lot of yellow in there and a lot of yellow right there. Which the shading looks good, but it was just too, how many times can I say yellow? Say yellow, yellow for me, so. <laughs> I changed it. Um, also, I, <laughs> I have like a rash right here from my CPAP, which I will talk about in life updates. <laughs> okay, so the dog sampler. I love this so much. It's from Beth Twist, the Heartstring Samplery. And that big dog, I changed to two of these little dogs because I wanted more dogs. And let's see what am I stitching this on. This is Weathered Shingle 40 Count by r, r which I love Weathered Shingle. Okay, so here it is, and I'll put it to the side so y'all can kind of see where I was, where I am. Um, I believe I worked more on this top roof. I don't, I got all that roof done. I probably put in another row of grass. You can see my two little dogs over there. And I may have filled in the window. I think I filled in a window. So I did change the color of my roof. I think the roof was called to be more brown. And I wanted it to be more shingly looking. Is that a word? Shingly work looking? So let's see what I changed. Yeah, I changed it to a color in cotton and you guys are gonna kill me because I can't tell you the color because I punched a hole through it. It says C-K-E-N. So this is my roof color. Um, and it looks like I got it in December of 2018 when I was getting the thread of the month. So I can't, uh, I know I'm using thread that y'all can't get, but. <laughs> uh, this is my travel piece. This is also a piece for my son that I am trying to stitch for him on Thursdays because he has Boy Scouts on Thursdays. He's working on his Eagle, Eagle Scout he just finished his Eagle Scout project. All he has is one more council meeting and he will be an Eagle Scout. So Thursdays I work on this for him. And here it is. And I believe I uh, finished the rocks. I started back stitching the rocks, although the rocks are not finished with the back, the back stitching is not finished. Um, and I think I probably put in a little bit more there. I may have put in a little more up here too, like right here, I don't know. <laughs> Mostly I worked on the rocks to finish those. That, that was my goal, was to finish the rocks. So this is all the kit stuff. The kit Ada, I believe it's 16 count Ada. And I love it. It's beautiful. I got it from mybobbin.com and they have a couple more outdoorsy looking ones that I might do after this one. Mm. I am 
so dizzy, y'all. <laughs> I feel like the Tasmanian devil. Okay. Um, this one is called Anniversary Sampler. It's by Cooler Classic. This is my anniversary piece. My husband and I will be married 20 years this year. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done by October, <laughs> but I'll be working on it. Whipco called this last month. Whipco called this this month. So I get to work on this again. There's just a lot of color changes. It doesn't look like it, but it's a lot of fiddly. I'm like right in here. I'm down here in these leaves. I where I worked in these leaves. It's just it's a lot of color changes and backstitch. And I think when I get to this thing, it's gonna, you know, that's I think that's full coverage. And it's probably a lot of color changes and backstitch. So yeah. Um it's beautiful though. I love it. Oh, if you're new here, let me show you, let me tell you real quick. If you're new here, there's a quote or a, I think a Bible verse right here. And I'm putting a quote or a verse in from you. I got you, babe, which is right there. And I'll read that to y'all another time. I wrote it to you last time. If you want to go and I can't be reading anything right now. Okay. So this is 36 count white, white linen. And it's beautiful. And oh, here, let me put it right here so y'all can see what it looked like before. Um, so the other little bird is back stitched now and those leaves at the very bottom corner are done and back stitched. Um, I put my name in. So his name and my name are in now. I think, yeah, that little flower bud and I started on like that and that too. This will get more work. And I love it. I probably sound like I don't love it because I just don't feel good right now. But I do love it, y'all. I do. <clears throat> Sundays, I work on my son's stocking. I took a break today, though. I'm not working on it, on it today. Um, I'm working on probably my full coverage. I'm going to do one more day on my um, mini top frog before I put it away. So I took a little break from this, but um, Sundays I usually do work on this. So I mean, I did some changes on this too. I know. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you the changes I did. So, oh, this is a Stony Creek called Christmas in the Woods. So that little lantern right there is charted to be red. As you can see, I recharted it to be green. Um, two reasons. We camp. We camp all the time. And Coleman has um, green, you know, the green Coleman lanterns and the green Coleman stoves. I wanted it to be Coleman green. And then my son being in Boy Scouts, um, everything's green. His, his lantern's green. His Boy Scout chair is green. So I really wanted that to be green, so I recharted it in green. So you will see it in a different color, and I will show you my colors after I show you um, the piece. And this is 32 count uh, Sandcastle. It's the called for. And I cannot see what y'all can see, so let me stand up. Okay, and that's where I'm at. And I'm putting it to the side so I can do a before. So the deer is done. I believe he's completely done and backstitched. So yep, yeah, there's my little, okay, I'm gonna sit back down. Nobody get dizzy. I'm probably the only one in, in the world that's gonna get dizzy, but yeah, I love how it's turning out. I think it looks great. It's a lot of green, but I'm not a big red person anyway, so. So I'll show you the colors that um, I'm using. 
I just pulled out all the reds that were called for, and I think there were five. And then I just matched, not the colors, but the tone of the colors, you, you know, like so. I just pulled tone-wise the five different, where's my little frog? Y'all don't, okay. Um, so that's my lantern colors. They're just DMC. And I, might, I think I did write them down. So if you ever stitch this and you would want to change your lantern to a Coleman Green Lantern, um, just let me know and I have the colors written down. And I'm gonna I'm not getting rid of this book. I love this book because I actually would love to stitch that one day with that cabin and stuff. So I'll have this book for a while. I had a new start. Melissa, welcome. <laughs> I started my snail, count twice, stitch once. This is one of my unicorns. And I started him on my birthday. So my birthday was February the 25th. And I figured I needed a new start for my birthday. So I started him. And <laughs> you can't really tell. But, oh, and this needle minder. My aunt sent me that me needle minder. I didn't even know she knew what a needle minder was. And I got a little package and there was a frog needle minder in it. So this is Wren by Picture This Plus, uh, 36 count. I'm doing it a one over two. And there he is. And I'm changing some of the colors. So I changed this, I think it was a color and cotton, I wanna say. Yeah, color and cotton. It's sort of purpley brown. I think it's called seagull, I can't. Mm -mm. 50 year old eyes, 51 year old eyes. Oh, that does not say seagull, good lord. I read that as seagull with no glasses. Oh, okay, and then, um, yeah, so I'm I'm using, um, my, my hands aren't working very well either. Okay, so color and cotton and a fog in the lagoon, Victorian motto. And I think I changed his butt to sticks and twigs. I just pulled, I just pulled stuff. That I thought would look, you know, sort of like him. And I'm gonna work on him in the morning. So he'll be my morning stitch until he's done. Cardinal Biscornist <laughs> by Crossed Wing Collection. I worked on this. It's a little boring right now, but it's going to be amazing. Let me put it behind the board because I have my Scentsy back there and y'all can see the light through it. Here we go. So I have like sugar cookie in my Scentsy and my son will come home and go, are you baking cookies or is it that your wax thing that you're burning? And I'm like, it's my wax thing. And he always gets like, ugh. He always wants me to be baking, but I always have some kind of yummy scent in my wax, in my wax warmer. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be amazing when it's done, but it's quite boring right now for y'all. <laughs> um, but the eggs will go there. And this is a 28 count. 
something. So you stitch it two over two, and then the eggs you stitch one over one. And you get all this crazy detail, and it looks amazing. looks real. I love that. And I have a little nest collection. Are y'all getting bored yet? <laughs> I never know where if to show this one because I only work on this one once a month. And when I work on it, if you know, it's one day, it's like for an hour or two, so don't get much done. But when I watch Boss Who, it doesn't matter if you put three stitches in, I still want to see it. So I guess I'm going to show it. Y'all let me know. If y'all are like, yeah, don't show that. We don't care. <laughs> let me know. But I'm going to show it anyway. So it's my, um, I got an itch right here. My little CPAP mask. Um, it is my long dog, the pilgrim. And let me see where I'm at. Hold on. I think I, yeah. Okay. A stitch right here. I, whatever that is. Is that a fox? Yeah. Sorry. I keep moving it. Okay. That fox right there I did. And like all this right here. The date, I didn't put the date in because there's no way I'm getting it done this year and maybe not even next year. So I left that unstitched. So you'll see a blank spot there. I am stitching this on an R&R, &R, 36 count. It is called Chamomile Tea. Chamomile Tea. For all you who have never seen or heard of Chamomile Tea before, I've been stitching on it for years. Here it is. I have, I might have to scoot back. Okay, let me show you the whole thing first. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it in close and show you what I have done. So yeah, I think last time you saw it, I didn't have any of this. And the date will go right there. The color I'm using is just DMC3363. so you can see a little more of it. So it's pretty cool. I love the colors. I love the chamomile tea color. Yep. I may have worked a tiny bit up there too. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know how much to show you of it. You know, when I work on it for like one or two hours a month, I'm like, do I pull it out and show you? So I didn't show it to you last month even though I worked on it. <laughs> um, I usually work on it for Long Dog Leap Day Sal. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Long Dog Leap Day Sal on the 29th of every month. Uh, I have a hair in there. I pull it out either between the 27th and the 29th, somewhere around there, I'll pull it out for a day. Um, February, I pulled it out yesterday, the 27th, so I went, Okay, I told you in the beginning I had two piles. That was pile one. Pile two are my sows, my stitch alongs. The peep, um, I am stitching a a group of, not a group. I am, st I am stitching a bunch of things with some people. So I decided on Wednesdays rotating 
every Wednesday I would pull out one of those things and stitch on it for just a little bit. So these things don't have much more stitching in them either, but I pulled them out a little bit. Um, and I'll tell you who I'm stitching them with and what I did and all that good stuff. So the first one, I am stitching this one with Vicky Stitch and Button, my sweet girlfriend. This is called Hunter. I think we started this January 1st. Did we not? I don't know. I only stitched on this for one more day and it won't get stitched on again probably for another month or two because I got like, I'm rotating them. So this is, hold on, it's written right here. This is 36 count vintage pecan butter, like side linen. And that is where I'm at. Can you see it? I don't, well, board, the board, I need the board. There we go. So I will put in a before. I don't know if you can tell a difference because it's only been a day. I don't know, do y'all wanna see these day things? I don't know. Do you just wanna look at the pretty fabric and the beautiful floss? I don't know. I do, so I guess that's why I'm showing it. <laughs> Next, I am stitching this one with Leah Noel, she is aviatrix stitcher on Floss 2. She's taking a break from social media right now to concentrate on other things, but we are stitching this together. So I restarted this because I cannot see on black. I want to see on black so bad because it looks amazing on black, but I cannot do it. My head and eyes my 51 year old eyes will not allow me to do it. My headaches and dizziness will not allow me to do it. So I had to restart it. So this is where I was. Isn't that beautiful on black? Like, holy crap. Okay, so this is Seraphim, 36 count. This is Nightcrawler. I love this. I can't stitch on it. So I had to change my fabric and I restarted it. And I restarted it on 36 count Lakeside Linen Vintage Wood Smoke. Now, I did not buy, I did not go purchase this. It, I mean, I purchased it. It was a while ago. It was in my stash, but I did not want to go buy anything. So um, I had to add borders to it so it would fit in my hoop. And I'm only gonna have about an inch, inch and a half border, but what ebbs. Life's too short, people. Worry about stuff like that. So, I think it's still going to be beautiful on this vintage wood smoke. So, I restarted it. A spider. I might, though, have to change. I don't know if you can see it or not. I have stitches right there, and they are very light. That's the start of one of the leaves. I might have to brighten that leaf up. I have to rip that out and brighten that leaf up. Um, it is the called for, leaf, that color is the called for, I believe. I think, I think I used the called for. So it's the start of that leaf right there. Um, you can kind of see it right there. And yeah, I might need to darken that orange up. But I really like that wood smoke. So, and I can see it much better, much, much better than the black. So I just have to accept the fact that I cannot stitch on that beautiful black. I pulled this one out. Actually, I think I pulled this one out, not on a Wednesday, but on a different day because I saw Kristen, one of my Texas girls, finished and had this framed and it is gorgeous. She's blue bonnets and whiskey. And I'm actually stitching this with one of my other Texas girls. I zoom with Texas girls on Tuesdays. And 
Becky socks for mom. I was like, Ugh, I gotta pull it out. I gotta do a berry bowl. So I pulled out my berry bowl and I finished the berry bowl. And so this is Stars Hollow, R&R, &R, Stars Hollow, 36 count. And I, I think I, I, I did that one right there. So Becky and I, from, Bucky from Socks for Mom, she and I will exchange pieces. One day, probably in 10 years, Becky, no hurry. <laughs> We will exchange pieces on this. But blue bonnets and whiskey, go look at hers. It's, she got it framed. It's amazing. It looks so gorgeous. This one, I have to put a picture here of what it's gonna look like. Um, this is a free pattern and I'll put the link down below. And, um, I'm sort of stitching this with Jemima, the rocking stitcher. And this is where I'm at. So I am on, a, let's see, January, February, March, April. I am on the April block. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a sweet pea. And this is, what is this? Let me think. 28 count, one over one, just a white. I think I got it at a Hobby Lobby or something. Yep. And I will be doing a four across three down instead of the three across four down. And she will be going away for a little while because I'll rotate my things I'm stitching with people again. So that is what I stitched on, guys. Actually, I had one more I stitched on, but I completely forgot to pull it out. Um, so I'll show it to you next time. And you know what it is? It's the Woodland Sow. Remember that Woodland Sow that I was working on? Um, I finished the rabbit. And I cannot remember what March's animal was, but I'll pull it out, I'll show it to you in March. Some gifts I got gifts and y'all amazing gifts amazing gifts okay Millie Ellie Melanie where's your card Melanie 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 she is Melly Ellie on floss tube okay I just need to tell you Melanie I was tearing up I showed this to my husband and he teared up he actually had tears in his eyes and we, I've been hanging it on that little, we have this little tree right here that just stays there. It has lights on it and I light it up sometimes, but she stitched us this little ornament over the rainbow bridge for Basil. We lost Basil in January. And I was shocked when I got this in the mail. I can't believe you stitched this for us. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I have, it's been hanging in a little tree and my stitchy spot is like right there so I can see it when, um, when I'm stitching. Thanks. Thank you, I love it. I, I still can't believe you did that. I got a Valentine's Day card from Jackie. Jackie is cross my stitches. Oh, I'm, st Jackie is actually stitching, um, the stocking, oh, what's that thing called? Let me think, Christmas in the Woods. She's stitching that one too. So Jackie sent me a little Valentine's Day card. And Jackie, did you make this? It says handmade. Hold on, let me get this. It says handmade and it has your initials. I think you made this. That's amazing. Then let's see. Okay, and then Becky, socks for mom. 
my Becky. I have two Beckys actually. I have two Stitch and Beckys that are my friends. Um, but Becky sucks for mom. She gave me a Valentine's Day also. She sent me a thread key. And now I get to use it. Thank you, Becky. And then for my birthday, so my birthday was February 25th. Um, Wendy, Wendy is Wendy in Neverland. So it's W-E-D-I in Neverland. She has a floss too. She sent me a birthday card, which is gorgeous. Can't wait for spring. I'd like to stitch that. She made me a project bag that is right up my alley. Right up my alley. Browns, I love brown. Toad, I love toads. Put my cross stitch in, love cross stitch. And then it's got a um, little frog charm. Like a steam pump. Yep. Thank you, Wendy. I was just, I was floored. Y'all, I swear, all these, floored, floored, floored. So, and she's got a little tag. So, yeah, I just been blown away by the sweetness, by the sweetness. Um, in the comments, y'all leave. Y'all leave the sweetest comments. Just so sweet. I just... Thank you. Thank you for being kind and thank you. I um, only have one piece of haul. My itchy, itchy face. I only have one piece of haul and it was from uh, Valentine's Day. I told you that my husband purchased me um, a chart for Valentine's Day and it came in. So I will be stitching this for my daughter. I want to finish something before I start it because I don't want to have too many whips. But I cannot wait to start it. So it is a kit. I've, I've actually taken it all out, inspected it. That's why it doesn't look all neat and nice. Um, just to see how difficult it was. It looks like it is not going to be difficult at all. It is the um, RTO. It's the same... Um, kit it looks exactly like my was it moraine yeah my, my my one i'm stitching my son the lake one the dmc card the chart the fabric everything it looks just like that and it's easy it's it's great it's great to stitch with the, the floss the fabric everything is great so it's going to be so fun to stitch and i can't wait to stitch it and think about her while i'm stitching it so can't wait to start that. So that's my only haul. Um, I have not bought anything, um, but I did pre-order one thing. No, I'm, excuse me, I pre-ordered two things um, from the expo so far. I got some birthday money and um, Hollis Hands Create, she's also one of my Texas girls. Um, I pre-ordered the, I think it's the classic color works, the new colors. They have three new colors coming out. I pre-ordered those three colors and I pre-ordered the Hello from Liz Matthews Butterfly Cloche. Y'all. Ah. I think I might have to do a sow. I might have to host a sow because that thing has me written all over it. Let me know if you want to stitch it with me and I will host a sow. Um, yeah. Okay, so life update really, really quick. I got my CPAP. Here she is. I'll put a picture in. I named her Amelia because I feel like an aviator when I uh, wear her. Um, my husband says I look like a scuba diver, but I am not naming her Jacques. So I named her Amelia. 
it's been really hard getting used to. I've had to change masks. And um, I think I'm just now getting where the mask is more comfortable. But now I have this itchiness where the mask is. So if any of you or your husbands or your wives or anything wear um, CPAP, how or do you, what do you do for this? What do you do for the plastic? It has pads. So there, there's a pad there. So the plastic actually, I mean, the plastic is touching right here, but. How do you get rid of that itchy plastic on my face? I don't know. There's got to be a solution. I... Anyway, let me know what you do if you do, if you know somebody who does. Um, also, a neurologist said my MRI is normal, but labs came back and I have a vitamin B12 deficiency. So my vitamin B12 was down in the dumps. Dump, dump, dumps. That's why I am so dizzy. I cannot function. I have tingling in my leg, my arm, my fingers, my hand. I have tingling. Tingle, tingle, tingles. Um, so I started B12 injections and they are helping. They're helping. I am less dizzy, less tingling, but I'm still dizzy and I'm still tingling. <laughs> so <laughs> I just wanted to stop. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to be patient, I'm trying to be patient over here. Um, just want to down a whole bottle of B12. So I was not taking vitamins. Nobody told me I was supposed to be taking vitamins. Um, I don't eat red meat and I don't eat dairy, not because for health reasons, because I don't like the taste or the texture. So we, uh, when we got the diagnosis, my husband took me out for a Five Guys hamburger and I downed a hamburger. So I guess I need to eat more meat and cheese and I peeled the cheese off my pizza. I don't eat cheese on my pizza. So I'm just going to eat just take more B12, have the B12 injection, injections, and um, I'll be good as new soon, right? Okay, so I'm going. Love you guys.